Good day Grade 10s, welcome to your second lesson on statistics. Today we're going to be looking at grouping data. Now sometimes you may have huge amounts of data and the only way to handle these large amounts of data is to subdivide the full range of data into sub-ranges. Now what's important is that when you do this you need to choose a set of ranges and then count how many of the data points fall into each range. But each of these ranges cannot overlap and they must cover the entire range of data. Okay, so let's do an example so you can see what I mean. We are told the heights of 30 trees were measured in centimeters. The heights of 30 trees were measured in centimeters. And the question is group the data in the following ranges and draw the histogram of the group data. So in order to do this, I need a pen. So let's get a color out. And what we're going to do is we're basically going to draw up a tally and then a count of each of the data in their specific points. So we've got, they have they've have very nicely for us grouped them into already sub-ranges. So we've got a height that is smaller than 140 and bigger than or equal to 130, smaller than or equal to 140, I mean bigger than or equal to 140 but smaller than 150, and so on all the way through to 180. Now sometimes they won't group the data for you and you have to work out the sub-ranges and sometimes they will give you the sub-ranges so you just need to see what happens. So let's go through it. 132 so that's a tally of 1 and I'm just going to cross it out. 145 is a tally of 1 between 140 and 150. 164 is a tally over here of 160 to 170. 178 falls into the 170 to 180 range. 179, another one, 135, 144, 153, 139, 142, and I know this is tedious, but you have to be very careful when you do this, 161, so that's going to be over here, 141, 170, ah oh, now you need to be careful with 170, do you see that this one is smaller than 170 and this one is greater than and equal to 170, so 170 falls into this category here, 156 is easy, 155 is the same category, 169, this one, 138, is in our first range or sub range 142. Now you'll notice I've already got one, two, three, four stripes. So what we do now is this kind of is, I don't know if you've ever seen those cartoon shows where they show people counting off days on a tree or on the side of a prison. But what we do is we go one, two, three, four, and then we count off the fifth one by putting a stripe through it. So if we see something like that, we can count that already as a five. We know that that is five. So that's 142. 160. Again, we have to be careful it is not in the sub-range because that is smaller than 160. It has to be in this one. 164 makes this a 5. 168 is over here again. 133 is again going to make that a 5. 150 is in this one. 139 is over here. 168 is over here, 152 is making that a 5, 140 is making that a new one, 139 is a 2, 132 is over there, and 169 falls over here. So now we count up our tally and we see that's 5, 6, 7, 8, that is 5 and 6, that is 5, that there is 8, and that is three. And now what we'd usually do is we would represent this as a histogram. Now a histogram is like a bar graph, okay, but what's special about the histogram is that they, there are no spaces between the the bars, okay, in a bar graph there are spaces, in a histogram there are not, and the reason is that we're comparing like numbers. So this is going to be our height of our trees 
in centimeters and this is going to be the number of trees and do you see that we're going up maximum is to eight so what I'm going to do I'm going to mark this off as two four six eight okay so the first height is from 130 to 140 that's the first range 130 to 140 we have got eight so that means we have got in this first range 130 to 140 so that is 130 and this is 140 please note that you should be using a ruler I obviously don't have a ruler so you um, can't draw this perfectly but you should be using a ruler and generally you'll be using nice um, graduated paper the next we've got is 6 and that is for the 140 the 140 to 150 range that would be 150 and while we add it that's going to be 160 and that's 170 and that's 180 so the next one is 150 to 156 is 5 so if that is 6 and that is 4 then obviously this over here is about 5 and we draw a line and then from 160 to 170 we've got 8 so we have another peak growth over here And then finally, there are only three trees in the 170 to 180 range. So if I had to say to you, which of these groups have got the most number of trees, and obviously we could say between 130 and 140, as well as between 160 and 170, because although there's a skew on the page, that is also an eight, which group has got the least amount of growth would be the 170 to 180, so that would be the smallest number of trees. So that is what we use the histogram for, it's for comparing like with like. Right, grade tens, that's how you use group data. We'll be expanding on this in a few extra the lessons. Please make sure you know how to group data, how to draw a tally chart, and how to count up and draw a histogram. Thank you very much. Have a lovely day.